here we're going to be looking at multiple ways of calculating for resistance in a parallel circuit. Let's just take a basic, uh, very basic simple parallel circuit with, we'll start out with only two resistors. So we have our first resistor here and what we'll call R1 and then a second resistor here we call R2. Okay, we can give these values uh, we can give these resistors just about any value that we'd like uh, but if we if, if we're going to be looking at the three formulas let's give it something that works well with all three of them uh, so let's take two resistance values of 100 ohms for each one so uh, in a series circuit if you recall when we're calculating for resistance Total resistance is the sum of all the individual resistors. Uh, however, in a parallel circuit, that's not the case. Uh, we actually have to take the inverse of each resistor and take the sum of those two, and then the inverse of the total to calculate total resistance. So looking at it that way, we can write it like this. Uh, the inverse of total resistance, or 1 over RT, equals uh, the inverse of R1, which was 1 over 100, plus the inverse of R2, which is 1 over 100, which gives us, uh, give us uh, 2 over 100, and then uh, we can say that that is uh, 1 over 50, if we want to simplify that fraction. Uh, now if we take the inverse of, of the total, we have RT equals, well, the inverse of 1 50th uh, is going to be uh, 50 ohms. Now, there's another way to solve this. Given that we have two resistors, there's, there's a formula which is called the product over sum, which will also give us total resistance. And what that tells us, as it sounds, the product of R1 and R2 over the sum of R1 and R2, okay, which in this, in this case we have R1 times R2, that will be 10,000 ohms over the sum, which is 200. Okay. So half of 100 will give us 50 ohms. You can see that one worked just as well. And you can use this formula anytime you have only two resistors, and they do not have to be the same resistance. And there's one last formula that we can use to calculate total resistance in a parallel circuit. When we have resistors of equal value, and what we all we do is we take the resistance value of one of the resistors, which in this case is 100 ohms, and divided by the number of those resistors that we have in parallel. So here we have two, and we see that also will give us 50 ohms. So those are the three formulas that we can use to calculate for resistance in a parallel circuit. And uh, by far the most common, most commonly used formula is going to be this, what we call the reciprocal method, because you can use it for any number of resistors, uh, for, for any parallel circuit, whether they're similar or, or unequal values. And uh, if you have a good scientific calculator with an inverse or reciprocal button, uh, it makes the calculations very quick indeed.